making an assembly from a part. Choose file, choose make assembly from part. The open document we have here, Lego brick, is the one that we would like to bring in. And if we go down a little bit, we could also choose to have a graphic preview. So this is a good one to click. Now we can see that it appears suddenly and it appears in the center there. If I move out the mouse cursor, it will be exactly positioned where the cursor is positioned. In this case, I think it's fine to have it centered. So if I go back with the cursor and just choose OK, it will be in the same position as in the part. Okay, that was the first part in the assembly. So let's bring in another piece. You go for assembly tab and choose insert component. Now we can see that we have an open document that is named Lego brick. If we don't have that, or if you would like to put in something else, you can just browse, browse for that file. In this case, I mark Lego brick as the one to bring in. And once again, if I just move out, it will be positioned where the cursor is. So I just click. Okay, so now I have two pieces there. Let's move in uh, a third part. So I go for insert component once again. If you don't want to do that, you could also pin this one and it will keep on being visible here. In this case, it's only one more. So take that away, okay? Lego brick, out in the graphic view and just click. Okay, you can see in the tree that we have three different pieces. Let's mate. So when you choose mate, you just position them in space. So if I click on this first one and on the second one, we align those faces. With a right click, you can see that you have a, a green OK there. So we could say OK there with right mouse key. You could also choose OK here or you could choose OK here or you could actually choose OK here. Yeah several places so i accept that one which means that we have got a mate between that surface and that surface now i will add a second mate and when i click on this face here it will jump into the, this blue window so blue window is waiting for information from you okay i click here and then it goes into the blue window so now i have two things here that is mated together and we would like it to be Coincident. We could also choose different things here, like a, a distance. So you could actually put in a distance here and, and put in values to whatever you like here. But in our case, coincident is perfect. I choose coincident, accept that one. And then I take the last Lego piece, position that one, take that side and that side. Okay, line them up right click and accept okay so if I now go out in the mate window and say okay to this then these are still movable but only up and down we can't move it sideways so we have actually positioned it as as we would like it to be if you prefer to have a certain distance here we could just add an, a mate with let's say 20 millimeter between each of these yeah, so that's something that you could decide to do if you like okay we're almost done uh, let's put some uh, nice colors on these lego bricks and to the right we have this colorful uh, ball that you can choose and here we have possibilities to put in decals, scenes and appearances. And here we find, for instance, plastic. So if I go for a medium gloss here, you could just scroll down to whatever we prefer and just drag and drop. And when I drop it here, 
we could decide to only have the face red or the complete feature, the extrusion or the complete body and then you see all three gets red. So in this case it's actually this one, the assemble part in the assembly that we would like to choose. So I choose that one. You can also see that green little box there that symbolizes that it's an assembly thing, an assembly part. Okay, do it again. And here we could pin this one because we would like to use it several times. And then we just go for another color. Okay, let's take a green, move it in, slide along this here, and choose the right one. And then finally we choose a yellow one. Okay, done. And we could unpin this if we like, or we could continue to uh, use the possibilities here like decals. So if you go in here to decals here, you could choose to position some kind of decal. And you could of course have your own a uh, symbol of course. So if I move this in here, see that just position it uh, from the camera angle. So if I now would like to work with this one, everything that we had in the in the library to the right, when you use it, goes into the left side here. So in the left panel you can have a possibility to change the mapping. So I go for mapping tab here. And here, instead of current view, I go for X, Y. Okay, that's much better. Bring it down a bit, scale it down. And you could also reposition it. Okay, good. So that was a, a decal. Uh, with right mouse key, you could also push down and decide for a direction. So if you like to flip it you could very quickly choose different angles here middle mouse is of course a middle mouse key is the one we usually use for tumbling in space okay scenes here you have a possibility to choose different uh, pre-made uh, lightning and environments uh, that exist. So you can actually just drag and drop here uh, and look at different environments and, and choose one that you think looks good. So when you feel happy with, with one of these environments, remember that you could go for the left panel here and adjust it. And you find here a colorful ball again here you could go in and change, for instance, the view scene or the decal. So here we have uh, that warning there. We go for this one here. And here we can see that we could change the background and environment. So if I double click on this one here, you could go down here and turn on floor reflections. So if you like that, you could go for that one. And you could go for advanced and change more settings here. Uh, for the environment. Okay, I accept that one. So, maybe you would like to get rid of the black lines here, and you have a possibility to flip here to another shaded view without any black lines. And maybe you would like to have perspective. So, if you choose perspective, might look a little bit more interest, interesting. Uh, the perspective view could also be changed under uh, view. Sorry. Okay. Let's click on view. And here you could modify. So under view, you could modify the perspective. Oh, this was not easy. I think it's because we have such a small window for SOLIDWORKS here. But you can see to the right there, you can choose the perspective and change it. Oh, that was irritating. <laughs> okay, let's leave that. 
so for the moment we're happy with an assembly we have used mate we have used appearances decals and logos okay that's it